events of Nyanza, um, but even there, only half of them say unequivocally, unequivocally yes. Um, and those who are least um, enthusiastic about making any constitutional changes between now and the next election are presidents of Central and then Northeastern. Why that is, um, I'll leave that to you. By the way, if you have a question as we're going along, just put up your hand, because we might not be able to remember them at the end. We made the comparison uh, with the data, as Maggie said, we had done another survey, including some, but not all of these questions, uh, in December. And you can see there's been a slight drop in the proportion of all Kenyans who would like to see any changes, um, and a slight increase in the no, increase in not sure. Why is that? Well, I'm not sure myself, but I can guess that the High Court ruling on May 4th, saying, uh-uh, BBI is Sima Mishwe, maybe has discouraged even some people who would have liked some changes. So it's like, I would like to go swimming, but there's no water in the swimming pool. So, Nita Funguza, so maybe that, that what happened with the High Court as well. We didn't ask people why or has your opinion about this changed since December. And these were different respondents who were interviewed this time. <coughs> and we asked people, how much would you say you know about these proposed reforms? And you can see um, only 6% say that they know a great deal. We didn't give them a test. We didn't say what is being proposed about the executive or what's being proposed about budget uh, allocation to counties. No, we didn't give them any test. We just took them at their own word. Um, we found 68% said they know something. 29% um, just a little. But 47% said they know nothing at all. And you see some contrast. Men, by and large, are claimed at least to be a bit better informed than women. Maybe women are too busy trying to uh, provide for families' uh, daily needs, pay less attention to political and public issues. We all see, also see that um, people in urban areas are slightly, or claim to be slightly more informed uh, on what BBI is all about than people living in uh, Mashambad. And again, this is self-assessment. We didn't give them any test. I don't know if I gave you people <coughs> that question, how you would answer it. <laughs> Should we do a test right now? With you? Even me, I wouldn't say. I, I must say, I did not read the whole, um, what, 120-page bill, but I read a, I think it was a 25-page summary of all the proposed changes um, that, were in, that, that are in the bill. You can see here quite a close correlation between level of education of our respondents and how much they claim to know. For example, if you just take the proportion who say they know nothing, for those who have no, no formal education, more than four out of five, 85%. By the time you get down to people with secondary education, only half of them say they know nothing. <coughs> And to get to a post-secondary, it goes down even further to only about a third who say that they know uh, nothing. And I don't think if, if, if people would lie. To, to say you know nothing is a bit embarrassing, so we, we, we think these people are honest. But again, you can see how important education is, is to awareness of public affairs, and awareness leads to more informed participation. <coughs> 